Hello, we're going to look at the uh, legends uh, functionality within the Greytech Power Pack. This function will allow us to create a legend on our project browser that will hold all the relevant information to do with the door, so including the elevation parameters. So we're just going to walk through this video with you just to show you how this works. So essentially what we're doing here is creating a new legend view. And in that legend view, we're going to use a legend component, which is the legend door. OK, we can change that to an elevation view and drop that on the screen. Just change the shaded so we can see what it looks like. What we're now going to do is just draw some detailed lines around this, which will effectively be our table, if you like, or our legend itself. So this is essentially where our parameters are going to sit. So we're just producing the heading boxes here. We're going to go to our text and we're just going to add some basic text in here just to assign some parameter data. Now we're going to go over to our legend tool within the Greater Power Pack and load some parameters. So we can use a project parameter and we're going to align that to the right. And again, we're going to put another one in here, which is actually the door elevation one. So we're going to pick this one, check the dimensions, which are 1350 by 2100, change the width of this door to suit the dimensions, take off the seal height, and then we're going to add some dimensions to this. And this will give us the parameter data that we require. Once we've added this information, we're just simply going to move the door so it sits on top of the existing door and this will link the two together for us. Once we've done that we can then go to create and modify our legend units. Okay, So we just highlight everything. This will bring us into the property box asking us what category we're looking at. So we're going to use doors and then what geometry or what parameters do we, do we want. So we're going to use things like description and comments. We're then going to go and put in the type, the count level per floor and the count level total. So we can see all this information added in. We're going to move down and we can move up different components, as you can see, and we can override them if we need to. So if you want to change type to description, then we can do. We can press OK on that. OK. We can also change whether it's the category by name or field transcript scripts, as you can see. And we can go to the count total and actually request a total number. So we're going to put an initial value of zero in there. OK. So once we've done that, we can press OK and it will ask us then how we want to repeat these titles along the screen. As you can see, we can repeat them to the right. We can just set out a length and that will repeat that column for us with those relevant parameters in them. So again, not complicated. And we're just going to move the level one over to the left hand side of the image. Once we've done that, we can then modify the unit parameters. So we're going to highlight everything. And you'll see that we can come in and just make some changes here. So the first thing we want to do is change the type mark. So it's gone red because we've already got that name. So we're just going to change that to tag and put an evaluate, uh, initial value of DXX. OK. So we can see that in there. Sign that. So we're linking that in. And it's gone grey. Once we've done that, we're now going to start to uh, populate the legend. So we're going to create and modify a legend. We're going to highlight everything that needs populating. In here, we've got some setting up for the sorting of them. So we're going to sort them by tag. Tell them the page size that we want. OK. We're going to say no to that. We just want them to array towards the bottom. And what you'll find is we've now created a legend of all the doors held within the project using all that description information that we've added. OK, we can do it by page if we need to. So again, just make some selections, press finish. Press OK. And we can do it by A4 size. So again, fitting these to sheets rather than just uh, having them free for all across the screen.